Yeah. The great thing about these built right mounts is that you literally have, well, I don't know about literally, but mostly have infinite options. Welcome back to the shop. So many projects to do here on vacation, which is kind of fun. What we're doing now to our F-150 here is we need somewhere to mount all of our talkie devices. So pretty well everybody has one of these doodads and they're dragging them around with them. What I do is I have a little magnetic mount up on my dash. Uh, the Phoenix Sun has uh, wreaked havoc on that bad boy and melted it off multiple times now. My buddy here, he has gone the smart route. And what he is using is the Built Right Industries bracket and the bullet point mounting solutions adjustable phone mount here with the carbon fiber rod. So what we had to do was pull the center stack out. We need to start by getting our trim piece out up here. We're gonna be pulling our speaker grill and our two screws out of the back. Use some bone tools. I guess I call them bone tools from back in the day, but these are just trim tools to get in here carefully to pop this cover up. There it is. Pop. Two, three, and four. You see, we've just got these little plastic clips all over the place holding everything together. And we've got our seven mils up here. Always fun pulling these things apart. Pop our speaker connector off. And then replace this little domed tweeter with a gigantic woofer. Is that what we're gonna do, Keith? Big woofer in the middle? All right. Yes, sir. And we're gonna be drilling into it to mount our bracket. That way we can get everything solidly in place and we have super duper mounting options. Lots of options to mount other things, multiple talkie devices, GPS units, tire pressure monitorings, cameras, or say you're pulling a trailer and you want your screen right there. Lots of cool things versus trying to suction cup everything to the windshield. So our next step here is to start drilling into our base. The instructions call for removing the little rubber pad or you can cut the rubber pad around the bracket. What we're gonna do is we're going to drill through the rubber pad and use it as sound isolation. And that way we can still throw stuff down underneath the bracket since there is room to fit stuff in there. Less talk, more work, let's get this thing done. So in our case, what we're gonna do is ver rather than mounting this all the way up to the front, we decided we're gonna leave a phone gap here so that if you wanted to put some business cards or something of that nature right here in the front, there'll be a little bit of space. If you did have another phone or you took your kid's phone away and you wanted to slide it up there and taunt them with it, then you'll have somewhere to put it. You can't take away my phone. Obviously this only applies to whatever phone you're using in case thickness. For this, we've got a iPhone 14 with a moment case on it. And we're gonna drill down and through here. So start with a smaller bit, make sure that you're not gonna chip or crack anything, and then we'll move up to our bigger bits. So I am just gonna visually set this up nice and straight, even side to side. I can see where the little rails are in there. Just like that, we're drilling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna full drill one hole, get a screw down in, and then one more. That way nothing moves as I'm working here. We've got our little M5 hardware. Put one screw through, we're gonna reline up, recenter everything, and we'll drill our next hole.
did not make these screw holes very big. It's going to be a nice tight fit. Now, before we put our bracket in, we're going to mount the arm to it, mainly because it's just easier to get to the screws while they're not captive down in there. With the way that these are drilled out, you have lots of options as to what you're going to do here. Drilling through the rubber mat, these screws are like, no, I don't want to go in there. With our bullet point mount, I couldn't come straight down at this one, so I have to go in at an angle. But I oversized the hole by just a few millimeters so that they would all drop right in. Now these are nylock nuts, so should feel pretty confident that they are not going to loosen up. Okay, four Uggadugas. Put our mount back on. Next, put our speaker and our center stack or holder or doodad tray back in. We gotta make sure we find our connector, plug our speaker in. Okay, and just like before, we have our three little clips there, our two screws on that side. Okay. Okay, now our screws in the back. And our speaker cover. Click, click. All right, now our final step is to orient our mount how we like it. Lock it down and boom. Now you can lock this thing down wherever you want. See, I left her a little loose so I could play with it. And you can mount all your extra devices up here. I mean, maybe you wanna put a big screen up here, watch movies while you're driving. Screw this little screen down there. Do the fun stuff. Ultimately, we're just making this uh, dash space a little bit more usable. I hope that this made it easier for you to rip the top of your dash apart and install all sorts of fun accessories. Look forward to seeing you in another video. Have a good one.